1969, uh, which was a common year in the Gregorian calendar, um, some or several famous events occurred in the world. Uh, once concerned science and technology. Later this month will mark the 50th anniversary of the first time when humans walked on the surface of the moon. Half a year earlier, in January 1969, Richard Nixon, who had defeated narrowly the Democratic presidential candidate, Vice President uh, Hubert Humphrey, had been inaugurated as the, uh, let's see now, 37th US president, with Spiro Agnew becoming the, US, the new US vice president. Also in 1969, uh, the French president Charles de Gaulle abruptly resigned uh, after most of the participating French voters refused to approve of his uh, constitutional reform uh, proposals, which actually concerned, according to various historians, his own sense of personal authority over France. Georges Pompidou was elected as his successor. Pompidou had served as prime minister for six years under de Gaulle's presidency. Also in 1969, West Germany received for the first time a federal chancellor or federal prime minister not affiliated with the Christian Democrats. Social Democrat Willy Brandt was chosen as the new federal chancellor. The um, strategic arms limitation talks, if I remember correctly, between uh, American and Soviet di diplomats began in Helsinki, Finland. Also in 1969, in that summer, a uh, famous, if controversial, uh, rock, rock and roll festival was uh, held in Woodstock, New York State, if I remember correctly, and became somewhat of a symbol of that uh, decade's um, musical, sexual, and other forms of liberation. <laughs> the Vietnam War, um, had reached its peak in terms of the number of U.S. soldiers stationed there. Over 500,000 of them were stationed in southeastern Asia, connected to the Vietnam War when um, President Lyndon Johnson retired in December 1969. Okay, let's go to the actual events then. On January the 2nd, 1969, Australia media baron Rupert Murdoch purchased the largest selling British Sunday newspaper, The News of the World. On January the 10th, the Soviet Union launched Venera 6 to word Venus. On January the 15th, the Soviet Union launched Soyuz 5, which docked, docked with Soyuz 4 for a tra transfer of crew. On January the 16th, 1969, a Czech student, Mr. Jan Palach, set himself on fire in Prague's Wenceslas Square to protest the Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia, which had occurred in August 1968, and in which almost all the member states of the Soviet-led uh, military alliance, Warsaw Pact, had taken part. Three days later, Mr. Palach died. On January the 20th, 1969, Richard Nixon, a Republican, was sworn in as the 37th U.S. president, and Spiro Agnew became the new U.S. vice president. <coughs> On January the 26th, 1969, Elvis Presley stepped into American studios in Memphis, Tennessee, recording Long Black Limousine 
thus beginning the recording of what became his landmark comeback sessions for the albums from Elvis in Memphis and back in Memphis. On February the 4th, 1969, in Cairo, Egypt, Mr. Yasser Arafat was elected Palestine Liberation Organization leader at the Palestinian National Congress. On March the 2nd, 1969, in Toulouse, France, the first Concorde test flight was conducted. Soviet and Chinese forces clashed at a border outpost on the Usuri River. On March the 3rd, NASA launched Apollo 9. James McDivitt, Rusty uh, Schweikart, and David Scott to test the lunar module. In a Los Angeles court, a Palestinian Arab immigrant to the United States, Sirhan Sirhan, admitted that he had killed U.S. Uh, presidential candidate, Democratic Senator Robert Kennedy of New York in August 1968. <clears throat> On March the 17th, 1969, Ms. Golda Meir became the first female Prime Minister of Israel and remains officially the only woman to have served as the Israeli Prime Minister because some 40, 39, 40 years later, uh, Ms. Sipi Livni served as an interim prime minister after uh, he, her predecessor, Ehud Olmert, had been forced because of scandals to submit his resignation. On April the 4th, 1969, Dr. Denton coolly implanted the first temporary artificial heart. On April the 20th, 1969, British troops arrived to Northern Ireland to reinforce the Royal Ulster Constabulary. On May the 15th, 1969, an American teenager known as Robert R. died in St. Louis, Missouri, of a baffling medical condition. In 1984, it would be identified as the earliest confirmed case of HIV AIDS in North America. From May the 26th uh, to June the 2nd, 1969, the British rock and roll musician John Lennon and his Japanese-born wife, artist Yoko Ono, conducted their second bed-in. The follow-up to the Amsterdam event was held at the Queen Elizabeth Hotel in Montreal, Quebec. Lennon composed and recorded the song Give Peace a Chance during the bed-in. On June the 8th, 1969, U.S. President Nixon and South Vietnamese President Nguyen Ban Thieu met at Midway Island. Nixon announced that 25,000 U.S. soldiers would be withdrawn by September. <clears throat> On June the 15th, Georges Pompidou was elected as the new French president. On June the 22nd, a famous American actress, <clears throat> Judy Garland, died of a drug overdose at her London home. On July the 1st, 1969, the 20-year-old <clears throat> Prince of Wales, Charles, was invested with his title at Carnarvon, Wales. On July the 7th, 1969, as a part of the bilingualism and biculturalism program, French was made equal to English <clears throat> throughout the Canadian federal government. 
On July the 8th, 1969, the very first U.S. troop withdrawals from the Vietnam War were made. On July the 16th, the crew of Apollo 11, Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and Michael Collins lifted off towards the first landing on the moon. On July the 18th, 1969, U.S. Senator Edward Kennedy drove off a bridge, according to the official version, on his way home from a party on Chappaquiddick Island, Massachusetts. A 28-year-old Democratic female activist and secretary and a former campaign aide to his brother, Mary Jo Kopechny, died by suffocating in the submerged car in the early morning hours of July the 19th. <clears throat> there is still controversy regarding what actually happened on that July night. According to one version supported, for example, by a British writer or historian, uh, <clears throat> Kennedy may well have or Kennedy actually got out of the car and left uh, Miss Kopechny to drive it because he did not want uh, the controversy uh, which could have caused rumors of marital infidelity if he had been caught driving late at night in his car with a young, attractive woman like Miss Kopechny. I will be back soon. Um, the late Senator Kennedy never could provide an adequate explanation, according to at least some or several of his critics, of how he got out of the car. He claimed, according to the official version of events, that he had somehow, uh, in a way that he could not explain, got out of the car and had then several times dived into the pond uh, trying to uh, extract his Kopechny from the sunken car and uh, unable to do so and exhausted by his efforts, he had swum ashore and then checked into a hotel room. Um, that morning, Joe Gargan, one of his, uh, I think, brothers-in-law or relative uh, through marriages, and another man had a heated conversation with him, after which Senator Kennedy decided to visit the local police station, pleading guilty to the charge of <clears throat> uh, leaving the scene of accident. He received a suspended sentence. Uh, several days after the incident, he spoke on national television, addressing pointedly uh, the voters of Massachusetts and uh, <clears throat> uh, claiming that they could decide his political future in the next U.S. Senate elections that were due to be held in November 1970, and indeed they did. Senator Kennedy was comfortably re-elected, and the only time when he faced major difficulties in re-election was in 1994, but even then he ended up pulling off, I think, a 20 or 21 percent victory in the end uh, against then-future U.S. Uh, uh, Republican Party's uh, presidential candidate and future governor of Massachusetts, Republican Mitt Romney, by the way. Uh, although Senator Kennedy went on to be re-elected to the Senate several times in 1970, 1976, 1982, 1988, 
and then 2000 and even 2006, he never was able to become a presidential candidate. The only time when he tried it in 1980, <clears throat> he proved unable to overcome uh, the incumbent president, Jimmy Carter's popularity uh, among the primary voters, despite Carter's uh, large general unpopularity in the country, <clears throat> given the sluggish economy and then various diplomatic defeats and the sense that the United States was no longer respected even nearly as much abroad as it should have been. And then given also the fact that Carter uh, was so closely involved and so visibly involved, even in rather minor details of his administration, that many, if not most, of the administration's <clears throat> mistakes and failures were seen as his personal defeats. Uh, Edward Kennedy would die of a brain tumor, I think, in August 2009, still in office as U.S. Senator. His senatorship lasted nearly 47 years, one of the longest senatorships, especially at the federal level in the U.S. history. On July the 20th, at 10.56 p.m. Eastern Time, or 2.56 uh, a.m. July the 21st, according to the Greenwich Mean Time or Universal Time Clock, the lunar, lunar module Eagle Apollo 11 landed on the lunar or moon's surface. An estimated 500 million people worldwide, the largest television audience for a live broadcast at that time, watched in awe as Neil Armstrong took his first historic steps on the surface of the moon. On July the 22nd, 1969, the already ailing Spanish dictator and uh, head of state, Generalissimo Francisco Franco, appointed Prince Juan Carlos as his successor. Franco, Franco would uh, serve as the titular Spanish head of state until his death in November 1975. On July the 24th, the Apollo 11 returned from the first successful moon landing and the astronauts were placed in biological isolation for several days in case they could have brought back lunar germs. The airless lunar environment was later determined to rule out microscopic life. On July the 25th, 1969, US President Nixon declared the Nixon Doctrine, stating that the United States uh, from then on expected its Asian allies to take care of their own military defense. This started the Vietnamization of the war. On August the 9th, 1969, members of the Manson family a cultic organization led by Charles Manson invaded the home of actress Sharon Tate and her husband Roman Polanski, a Polish born uh, film director in Los Angeles. The followers killed Tate, who was eight and a half months pregnant, and her friends. Uh, Folgers of Folgers, coffee heiress Abigail Folger, Wojciech Frykowski. A Polish visitor and Hollywood hairstylist Jay Sebring. Also killed was Stephen Parent leaving from a visit to the Polanski's caretaker. More than 100 stab wounds were found on the victims, except for a parent who had been shot almost as soon as the Manson family entered the property. At that time, Mr. Polanski was abroad. From August the 15th to 18th, 1969, the Woodstock Festival was held near White Lake, New York, featuring some of the era's top rock and roll musicians. On September the 1st, 1969, a bloodless coup in Libya ousted King Idris and brought Colonel Muammar Gaddafi to power. He would be deposed as a part of the Arab Spring Riots in 2011. 
On September the 2nd, 1969, the first automatic tiller machine in the United States was installed in Rockville Center, New York. On the same day, Ho Chi Minh, the president of the North Vietnam, died at the age of 79. <clears throat> On September the 28th, 1969, the Social Democrats made major gains in the West German federal parliamentary elections. Uh, their leader, <clears throat> Vice Chancellor and Foreign Minister Willy Brandt, and the Free Democratic Party's leader, Mr. Walter Scheel, announced the formation of a so called Social Liberal Coalition. Uh, in late October 1969, now the Bundestag narrowly elected, meaning the West German Federal Parliament's low house, narrowly elected Mr. Brandt as the successor to uh, the outgoing Federal Chancellor or Prime Minister, Christian Democrat Kurt Georg Kiesinger. <coughs> On October the 1st, 1969, in Sweden, Northern Europe, Mr. Olof Palme was elected leader of the Social Democratic Workers' Party replacing the 23, uh, after 23 years, uh, the uh, party's leader and prime minister, Mr. Tage Arlander, on October the 14th. On October the 29th, 1969, the first message was sent over ARPANET, the forerunner of the internet. ARPANET is the acronym for the words Let's look at this. Um, the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. On October the 31st, 1969, Walmart Incorporated as Walmart Stores Incorporated. On November the 3rd, 1969, US President Nixon addressed uh, the American people on television and radio, asking the silent majority to join him in solidarity with the Vietnam War effort and to support his policies. On the same day, Mr. Suleiman Demirel, of the uh, Justice Party formed uh, Turkey's 31st government. On November the 12th, 1969, the Milai massacre occurred or was published by independent investigative journalist Seymour Hirsch. On November the 15th in Washington, D.C., between 250,000 and 500,000 protesters staged a peaceful demonstration against the Vietnam War, including a symbolic march against death. On the same day, regular color te television broadcasts began on BBC One and ITV in Britain. On November the 17th, Negotiators from the Soviet Union and the United States met in Helsinki, Finland, to begin the Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty 1 negotiations aimed at limiting the number of strategic weapons on both sides. On November the 21st, U.S. President Nixon and the Japanese Prime Minister, Mr. Eisaku Sato, agreed in Washington, D.C. to re the return of Okinawa to Japanese control in 1972. 
On December the 1st, 1969, the first draft lottery in the United States since the Second World War was held uh, under the Selective Service Act. September the 14th was the first of the 366 days of the year selected, meaning that those persons who were born on September the 14th in the years from 1944 to 1951 would be the first to be summoned. On January the 4th, 1970, the New York Times would publish a long article entitled Statisticians Charged Draft Lottery Was Not Random. On December the 3rd, 1969, a 23-year-old American student from the southern state of Arkansas uh, on his second and last year uh, as a Rhodes Scholar at Oxford University in Britain wrote a letter to his draft officer, uh, Colonel Holmes, back in Arkansas, to whom he had indicated in March 1969 that he would join the Reserve Officers Training Corps after returning from uh, Britain in the summer or late uh, spring of 1970. However, he then claimed that during these several months he had had a change of heart and he had come to feel that the entire draft system was illegitimate. And then he mentioned one conscientious objector to compulsory military service or the draft, his good friend Frank Aller. And he claimed that Mr. Aller, despite refusing to serve in the army, was one of the bravest young men he had ever met, and that it was obscene or criminal that such a brave young man, because of his genuine pacifist beliefs, should be prosecuted. Aller eventually would relocate to the United States and would uh, announce that uh, he had been abroad in order to uh, avoid military service, was uh, then charged and then released pending trial. Then uh, since uh, his medical examination showed or psychological examination showed that he was unfit because of his depressive tendencies or conditions to serve in the U.S. Army, he then uh, was actually already hired to serve as a journalist in Southeastern Asia covering the Vietnam War. But then one autumn day in 1971, he decided to end his life. And that for Bill Clinton marked the end of the 1960s. He was angry, according to his autobiography, My Life, angry at Frank Auer for having committed suicide and angry at himself for not having done more to prevent Auer from committing suicide. Uh, a journal or diary entry or note uh, from a day shortly off before Mr. Auer's suicide uh, showed that Auer had really been depressed again. This letter would then be one of the uh, controversies of Clinton's 1992 uh, presidential campaign, along with his alleged 12-year extramarital affair with Arkansas night couple singer Jennifer Flowers, who had tape recorded some or several of their telephone conversations without Clinton's permission. And then there was also the 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 the. Uh, Uh, controversy over the Whitewater land investment, and then indeed Clinton's varying explanations of how he had avoided the military service. Never mind that several of his Republican critics had also, through various means, avoided military service, but they claimed that they had done so legally. Uh, Clinton falsely at some point claimed that he had not received a deferment, but indeed he had. Uh, Clinton famously declared during his 1992 presidential campaign, I opposed the war, meaning Vietnam War, but I loved my country, or I love my country. On December the 5th, 1969, the Rolling Stones album Let It Bleed was released. Um... On December the 24th, Charles Manson was allowed to defend himself at the Tate 
La Bianca murder trial. The oil company Philips Petroleum made the first oil discovery in the Norwegian sector of North Sea. On December the 27th, the Liberal Democratic Party won 47.6% of the votes in the Japanese uh, parliamentary elections. Future Prime Ministers Yoshiro Mori and Tsutomu Hata and future kingmaker Ichiro Ozawa were elected for the first time. On December the 30th, 1969, the Linwood Bank robbery left two police officers dead.